Welcome to the Friday special, How To Tips and Tricks. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. If this is your first time here and you're interested in straight razor shaving, click on that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. All right, in this Friday special tutorial, we are looking at straight razor shaving, and this is pass one with the grain. All right, so we will be using my Gold Dollar 66, which we honed up in videos in the past, and we are going to be using Stash Soap Works, and this is E Barber. This is just a wonderful barbershop scent, guys. It really is good. Now, uh, this is going to be with the grain, but now, even before that, I will have all the ingredients for that soap and uh, the scent profile as well in the description for you, along with links to everything I'm using in the shave. All right, so now here's what we have to do. We are going to do a with the grain pass, but now if you are starting, stretching is important, so we're going to stretch and we're just going to do this. And now here's the thing. You put that blade right on your face and then you cock it up to where the width of the spine is off your skin. So see what I'm doing? You go here, cock it up, and the width of the spine. Now the trick with this is you want 30 degrees or less and that will give you the best shave. So you see how vertical that is? And now I took little tiny strokes and all of that. Now guys, here's the thing. That's it. If this is day one for you, just stop right there. And you know, you can pull out, um, let's see, here we go. You can pull out, you know, your trusty cartridge razor, you can pull out your trusty DE, whatever it is you normally shave with, and finish the shave like that, okay? You're done. You know, this dominant hand with the grain. Now, that depends on how your beard grows as well, all right? Now, of course, in this video, we're gonna continue. So, you, I would do this for like a couple of days with this hand, and then you could do the rest of your cheek. So see, I went down there, which is with the grain, and now this is with the grain. But now all of that is good, that's easy, because it's really simple to do. And now, okay, do that for a few days. And then, you know, just keep adding little sections. All right. Now, here's the thing. You got this great soap, look at the cushion on there, and this stuff is super slick, really nice. Now, I just put the blade in the water. I never, never put the handle or this pivot pin in the water. Just from here down will I put in the water, and then I dry it on this towel, like you're seeing, all right? Now, what I would do next, because we're new at this. There it is, there it is. Okay, so what I would do next is we would switch hands, okay? And guys, I know it sounds crazy in the beginning, but if you start right from the beginning, it works. I would have never thought I could do this, and I can, all right? So again, we're gonna stretch. We're going to get that blade, right? And we're going to go ahead and have it a width of the spine off the skin.
okay and again just that that area there would be enough you know you've done all this do that until you're comfortable then work on the rest of your cheek all right and then just stop there just stop there go to the d go to the cartridge whatever it is you you are used to all right until you're comfortable and then move on and I'm going to finish this cheek. All right. And there's the soap. Now, see, I'm going to just get the blade in the water, not the handle, not the pivot pin, okay, and we're clean again. Next, here's the thing. Uh, we're going to save the chin for last, uh, but we're going to do the neck. So I know I've got a little speed bump right there, so we're going to go ahead and deal with that. All right, so here we go. Now, I'm going to stretch my skin here, and that's going to let me get over that jawline. And for me, that is going to be across the grain. Okay? And now, all the way up to here is going to be across the grain. Or actually, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to go that way. It'll be against the grain, or with the grain. <laughs> oh, man, it's been so long since I've, I've been talking about this. All right, now, straight down here is going to be with the grain again. All right, now, there you go. Again, I would just stop right there and finish off any way you would normally finish okay and then do that a couple of days and then now you would switch hands again and do this side and now I'm, I'm pulling that cheek up so we can get past the jawline all right and now this, again, this way and that way, more or less, is going to be with the grain. And see how easy it is on that neck to hold the width of the spine off of the, the neck. All right, so there we go. Now I'm going to clean that off. Dry that razor. Okay, now since we've been talking, my uh, shave soap is kind of uh, running out on me here. So. We're just going to re-lather. Again, there are no rules. There are no rules about this. So do whatever you need to do. All right? Now, the next thing is the upper lip and mustache area. 
Now I'm going to primarily try to do that uh, with the grain. So I'm going to start right in the middle and angle down as much as I can. And if the spine is going to hit my nose, but it'll be fine. Okay. All right, so now here's the thing. Uh, I found this to be one of the hardest things is to go down on my mustache area. Now, what you could do, and this is really kind of what I did uh, in the beginning, was um, I just kind of went like this and went sideways on it, all right? So um, let's start on this side. Okay, and I just did like that, and it really is much easier in the beginning. And for me, that is actually cross the grain instead of with the grain, but it works really well. And then that was blowing up that cheek, getting all that skin taut. Now for here, I'm going to open my mouth. And then once you get lower on your lip, it's easy to go down. All right. So next, I'm going to clean that blade off again. All right. Now we're going to do this other side. Same, same drill. Okay, just like that. And again, for me, that's pretty much across the grain. And now you see how you can switch hands to get different parts of your face. And whatever works the best for you, do that. Just switch, switch it up. Find out what works. Now, for the chin, this is really one of the most difficult areas for almost anybody. And what I've found is to take this chin area in like three sections. So I'm going to first, dominant hand, I'm going to go down in this top like third. Just like that, okay? And do that a couple of days and get used to it, all right? Now for me, right there in that crease, I've got some scars, so it makes it a little tougher. But what I would do from here now is, let's go ahead and work on this section here and here. Okay? So we're just pulling that straight down. And now look at how the razor uh, is angled.
because as you hit that jawline, you've got to angle it out more. Okay, now that was kind of straight down. I also would, what I do is I go from more or less a little past the middle sideways, which is across the grain for me. Then right in here, I've got a divot, so I'm going to go kind of across and with the grain. Okay, so on this side, what I did was I went straight down and then I went across. Now I'm going to clean off that razor again. And what I'm going to do on this other side is another technique that you could do, which is just straight sideways. And again, for me, this is across the grain. And what I tend to do is I tend to have that blade almost flat in this area and it works well for me. All right, so there you go. There's that. Now, I've still got this, my little trouble spot here. There's a scar there all the way across. So I'm going to go straight down and that's it. All right, so there you go. There is pass one complete. Let's go ahead and rinse that off and see how we did. Oh yeah, nice. And what a wonderful scent on this soap. It really is. All right, now I want you guys to look. Right? Look at this. Nice beard reduction. It's not 100% down, but it's getting there, which is all you're looking for with a straight razor. That's why we do two, two and a half, three pass shaves, all right? Hey, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Listen, guys, if you have an idea for a Friday special video and I can film it, let me know, okay? Questions, ideas, anything like that. If you give me something I can film and uh, publish here on YouTube, I will go ahead and give you a shout out. I'll put a link in the description to your channel if you have videos put up. All right, so hopefully uh, I'll get more questions. All right, give me some good comments as well. Thank you. Now, click right over here to see Pass two and how that continues. Click down here for a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.